Hello, ladies and gents. Welcome to another episode of Review and Post. And I'd like to take you over these NBA Finals in another game. Because Game 3 capped last night, and we're getting into the game today. Steph Curry had his highest scoring outing in the playoffs in his entire career last night. Because he had no help on offense, but... That didn't stop him. That doesn't slow down the green. A great player like Steph is learns how to adjust to every different situation. And he did exactly that. The Raptors played a solid game of two halves where the Warriors played iffy the entire game outside of Steph Curry where they didn't really have that much to fall back on. They didn't have the 3-4 all-star combination that they're used to or always hot shooting that comes out of clay and both the Splash Brothers as a duo. They didn't have those guys to just shoot up shots tonight. But they still try to find a way. And I think the Raptors held them at bay well. With good performance from Lowry, Green, Van Vliet. A nice 28-30 point performance from Kawhi Leonard. Serge Ibaka came out and became Ibaka again. It was a good, solid, amazing game for the Raptors. With the mention of the Warriors' help, I'd like to add that Kevin Durant has just been ruled out for Game 4. And the further this goes on, if the Raptors can sneak another win out and and take Oracle, they could close out in Game 5 at home in Toronto. And Toronto wins their first ever championship. Just like that. One injury, one hamstring injury from Clay Thompson. And the danger for the Warriors looms a little bit larger. Kevon Looney being out and Igadala being iffy on and off. Doesn't know when to sit down. Not knowing when to sit down really hurt these guys this year. Like, Clay Thompson being giddy on the bench, trying to run around. I like it. I like that he wants to play. But, risking future health and possible years down the line where he could be a contender without a Kevin Durant, without the boogies. You don't have to have just one championship, I would say, isn't worth risking the, your entire career and future health over it. And furthermore, into this series, the longer it goes on, the bigger shot we get. Kevin Durant back. The Raptors got to look to close it out as soon as possible. And with these injuries, knowing Kevin Durant is out for game four, you got to close these guys out. And from what's heard and what's seen, Kyle Lowry says he's better on the road. Well, he has to, he might need to take him out on, might need to take him out on Friday night. If Serge Ibaka can be a blocker once more <laughs> and do what he's known for, that was what he was known for in his Thunder years. As being Serge Ibaka was such a defensive talent on that end. I think he, if he can beat Ibaka again, if Danny Green comes out 
and knocks his shot down like he did last night. Just like I was saying in episode two. I was saying Danny Green has to step his game up, and Danny Green did that. He scored 18 points. He, Danny Green, <laughs> was amazing. This he is hitting crazy three after crazy three. Fred Van Vliet hit the dagger and sat Steph down for good, sat Draymond down for good. It really put the game to rest. They played an excellent, they shot excellent. Those, just those moments in the playoffs can make or break series, make or break, make or break players. And how my mindset about the playoffs is gotta stay on it the series is not over until it's over the series is not over until it's until it's over it's not over until it's over much like how the Cleveland Cavaliers came back and beat the Warriors in 2016 much like the Warriors beat the Thunder in 2016. Much like when Kobe had the 3-1 lead over the Sun and they blew it. That in itself goes to show you that a series is not over until it's over. Thursday night, I mean Tuesday, Wednesday night is just one game, one win. Game two was one game, one win. Game one was just one game, one win. You cannot claim a series over until that fourth win goes on the screen and the other team is celebrating getting to the next round. And let's get into the X Factors. The X Factors for game four are going to be the health of the Warriors once again who's gonna play great who's gonna not play great who's gonna be healthy and on the court Clay Thompson is going to play in game four from what I believe I believe he will play but if he plays will his play measure up to his normal standard that's the big question is he going to be as fast as needed? Is he going to be able to get the bucket that Clay Thompson is expected to get? Is Steph Curry going to perform at a high level? That's a question always. Is he not? Is he going to go off the of 50 like he did? Like he did last night? That's the big question. Will DeMarcus Cousins be able to do what he did in game two and play silently? Is Sean Livingston going to be horrible? Is Draymond going to shoot horrible until the fourth quarter? Is pretty much the entire Warrior team going to be horrible shooting-wise like they were in game three? Who is going to know? And for the Raptors, you, for the Raptors, they just gotta stay consistent. They gotta stay on it. You gotta hit those big shots. They managed to uh, start the fourth quarter on a zero-eight run. They didn't score for like the first three, four minutes of the fourth. And still found a way to manage to win. They didn't get destroyed. They got the stops when needed. They didn't just stop playing defense on Golden State like they did in the first half, in the second half of the game. In game two, if those guys don't perform like they did in game two, they could have been up 3-0 right now, and this series would be virtually over. Because no one has ever come back from a 3-0. Period. <laughs> and 
it adds a new depth to this series, but that's a what if. You gotta play hard, you gotta play tough, and the Raptors gotta keep it up if they wanna win that championship. So there's a lot of players in the NBA, and not everybody can win a championship. Not everybody can go to the finals every year. So you can be that guy who doesn't get the championship, or you can be the guy who does get the championship. The guy who gets the championship is who you want to be. You may only get one shot at it, so you gotta keep it. You gotta keep up with it. And with that note, I'm gonna head out of here. And I'm gonna ask for you guys to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for viewing me again.